I'm uh, Lieutenant Colonel Gary Hager, lead of the A-10 demo team, and my wingman is Captain Ken Fedora. Uh, we'll be putting on the two-ship uh, demonstration for the air show. Uh, what we're going to be doing is nothing that we normally don't do on a tactical ride. We'll be out there doing simulated gun attacks, simulated bomb attacks, and showing the high-speed, low-speed capabilities of the A-10, along with the capabilities of its short field takeoff and its short field landing. Back in the office, standard engine instruments over here, two engines, two sets of everything. And this is the weapon system, 11 pylon stations, which means we can carry up to 16,000 pounds of ordnance on, uh, on the A-10. And this is how we set it up to go ahead and drop the bombs. We can drop them single, we can drop them all at once, or we can drop a couple at a time, whatever, whatever we feel is best for uh, the actual target we're going after. Up here is for our heads-up display. We have all different modes for the heads-up display, which is up here, which allows us to keep focusing out in front here and not have to look inside to see our dive angle, airspeed, and attitude. That's a rotation at 120 knots, and we're going to let watch him as he leaves the gear down and goes all the way around the airport with the rollers out. When I was a two ship, we were talking to the, each other the whole time, talking airspeeds, uh, distance to the point. We have a center point that we try to hit. Coming up beside you right now. Yep. I'm here. You see Mad Dog put out the brakes for just a moment, slow down, match the speed, and there you got a formation right there. We want to go out there, obviously, and do the very best that we can. I'm here. And uh, what we're usually thinking about is about 10 seconds ahead of what we're actually doing. We have to okay, know instinctively what that maneuver is and then what we're doing after that maneuver. 1.3. One point. One point. Watch them when they cross. All right, now uh, Mad Dog cleans up the A-10, and meanwhile, Hat Man's going to leave his airplane dirtied up, and he will have the uh, aircraft slowed. The high-speed, low-speed pass, if you want to call it a high-speed pass in an A-10. Ken is uh, going about 120 knots. I'll be going about 400 knots when I pass him. And uh, for an A-10 driver, that's pretty fast. And look at this. Watch the overtake. This is so pretty. There you go, section pass and pitch. Look at that. I'm going. Better known as the Yank and Bank. It's about 15 minutes, the most fun you can have. We go out there and uh, Yank and Bank, and we're pulling seven and a half Gs in those turns. And for an A-10 driver, that's a lot of Gs. <laughs> Flying the A-10 is a, a blast. Take a look at this thing. You, you put the, everything but the kitchen sink on this thing. You go out there. And your job is to eliminate bad guys, and we do it very, very well. Our squadron just got back from Kosovo, went over there and, uh, and didn't take one hit. It's a credit to both the airplane and the training that we do with our guys. Let me come back to the most important part. We have the throttles and the stick. And basically, pretty simple. You pull back, the houses get smaller. You keep pulling back, and the houses get bigger again. So pretty simple here. Here's your bomb button here. And the business end is right here, the trigger for our Galway 30 millimeter. The biggest thrill about the A-10, if you look at the, the airplane, the whole airplane is built around a 30 millimeter Gatling gun. When you shoot that for the first time, it's the best thing you can ever, ever imagine. Shakes the whole airplane. 
And the great thing about it is you don't miss. It's a very accurate cannon. And you throw out there a couple hundred rounds and all you gotta do is hit a couple and the target's gone. I remember first day going to RTU, which is A-10 school, walking in and looking at these buttons, so it took me a long time to, to figure these things out. But it's like anything else, the training program that the Air Force has is a, a spectacular program. And uh, those guys did good. They, uh, they got me through, which was probably a challenge for them. But uh, here I am, 3,000 hours, knock on wood, and hopefully I'll be around for another 1,000. Well, we'd just like to say thank you very much for everybody coming out to the show. We really enjoyed doing this for you, and we hope you have as much fun as we have. Speed brakes now. Wave. There you go, giving you the spoiler wave, and everybody give a wave. It's very physical. It's a lot of fun, but it's it's physically demanding, and uh, it's pretty neat when this, you see the people appreciating what you do. It feels good.